In every Texas high school community, there are those who go above and beyond to make game days feel special. And in Milam County, in the town of Cameron, that has been one man's mission for 50 years. Jake Garcia has the story. <laughs> On Friday nights in the heart of Texas, Ready, one, two. time seems to stand still. The traditions of old meet the faces of new, the past and the present perfectly intertwined. Cheerleaders, band, spin squad. At CHO High School, one man takes it upon himself to paint this picture. He's done it for half a century. It just flew by 50 years. I can't believe it. Bertie Shoemate is 78 years old. A graduate of the class of 61. The man on the mic for the Cameron Yeoman. I'd make people laugh every once in a while about the referees, something about the referees. I'd always get in trouble with them, but at least I kept the audience laughing. It's a style that's personal. We always open the windows for her in the booth where we're at. And so we visited with the fans and the stands and everything. Hi, how I'm you Marty Shoemate. Nice to see you, brother. It's a style that roots for the home team. Maynard was on offense, and I think it was number 18, and Birdie said, and uh, Maynard Mustangs lined up, and number 18 lined up wide right all by himself. So had alerted us that we need to get somebody out there to cover 18. Yet for the past five decades, Birdie hasn't just spent his time pouring his voice into Yo Athletics. Athletics. He's poured his heart into Yo Athletics. Time that amounts to a lifetime of records. The rest of the teams in our class, district by district. Time that can be found in the palm of his hands. Kept the record for the whole year. He's kind of the, the almanac for Yo Athletics. I really think Max, his, his older brother, started that. He started in uh, 50 and 51. He would sit in the easy chair in the living room all day long and only get up to go eat or go to the restroom. When Max passed away in 95, Birdie had to pick up the ball and run with it. I followed in his footsteps. He was always known as the best Yeoman fan. That honor passed on to Birdie. When you think of Cameron Yo, uh, you think of Birdie. At least according to another Texas high school football legend. He's not some guy that just shows up on Friday night to, to call a game. He was invested. Todd Dodge got his head coaching start in Cameron in 1994. The same season Birdie's brother passed away. The season when Birdie became the program's do-everything man. He absolutely uh, delved into everything that was Yo football. He's one of those that's kind of a fixture, you know, in, in the city of Cameron. Birdie has gone on to witness the golden years of Yo athletics. His golden voice narrating state championship success. Here come the Yo His pen strokes allowing the story to become history and helping time stand still. If only time could stand still. I had some heart problems, and uh, they were treating me in the Waco hospital. He really wanted to announce this year, but I think that, you know, as his health has deteriorated, he, he realized that, that, you know, that might be too big of a, a thing to do. I felt I was doing good, but my family didn't, didn't want me to do it either. The 2021 season is Birdie's farewell tour. Old age, <laughs> 78 years old. He's retiring from announcing games. All the stuff that's happened in the last four or five weeks since I quit, boy, they've honored me here and there and everywhere. It's a celebration for all he's done. I went to our superintendent at the beginning of the year and uh, I said, you know, I really think that we need to name the press box after Birdie. An appreciation for his time. It was easy because I was a true yeoman already. Get tough defense! Birdie's helped Friday nights in the heart of Texas feel timeless. Well, I just want to say to Birdie personally, thank you. The sounds of old. All of these young players play an integral part in their team success. The sights of new. Yeah! I'm going to be there one way or the other. Perfectly intertwined to tell the story of his life's work. In Cameron, Texas. I'm Jake Garcia.